Hey guys, it's me Brianna and this is going to be a video on my hair, how I turned this into this. So if you're interested in how to rebuild your faux locks, add your faux locks, or refreshing your faux locks, and help you will continue to watch. This hair in style for about three and a half weeks. Um, and as you guys can see, it's looking a little rough. I've never done faux locks, I've never done crocheting, and I did that three and a half weeks ago. So I was really happy with how it came out for the first time I did it. I'm terrible at braiding. I suck at braiding, and I was able to pull it off. So it's been three and a half weeks, I'll be kind of rough on it. I've been putting on all kinds of styles. So I'm going to like kind of redo it. So I guess it's to kind of be a tutorial on um, refreshing your faux locks. So in order to remove your faux locks, it's super easy. Basically, all you want to do is you want to find your braid. So you want to just find that braid. And then you just take it. It's like... And then just pull it, and this should come off, just like that. Find your braid, and there's my braid. So in order to remove your crochet, all you're going to do is you're going to find the loop of your crochet. And the loop is where you initially, you know, put the crochet through your hair, you're going to pull it out of the hair. So take the crochet, find the loop, take the crochet in your braid, and just pull it out of that loop and then the crochet will just come out. There you go. Sorry guys, my hair's not rattling, but there you go. Okay, so the hair I'm using is authentic. And it is the um faux dreads. And it's all the 18 inch. I used four packs the first time. Uh ruined a pack trying to like get it together. So this is what the hair looks like. And then there's like a little loop in here. Just like so. I'll be back, guys. I'm gonna do all of my head, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm almost done um, with my plaits, and it took me about two hours to take these plaits down and redo them because I started watching Netflix and started watching the last two episodes of Stranger Things, and before I knew it, it was nine o'clock. So. If you're trying to get this done, don't watch Netflix. I'm just gonna take this and um, I'm gonna take a little bit more edge control gel just so I can like kind of grip all that hair. So it don't take a lot. And I'm just kind of like talking grip all the hairs. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of my olive oil growth therapy. About this much. See, it's not very much of it. It's like moisturized, just so I can kind of get all that. And then I like to take a little bit more of it and just do the ends as Make sure to like work it to the ends as well. Me personally, like I said, the ends are the oldest part of your hair. So, like with me, I went natural almost two years ago. So. I'm trying to retain length, even though I kind of messed up the first year with a little heat damage. But. Okay. And then I'll just separate in three. And you're going to take, make sure it's open, and put it through like that. And then just put that through like so, just like that, literally. Good. Open it up, and you should like automatically open it up. And then again, just, and the only thing I don't like about these faux locks is, like it unravels as you're like doing it. I don't know if everybody else has that issue, but. And then I just literally take the braid as well as the faux lock and I put it all the way through. And I'm just gonna tighten it. Just like so. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to take this and that. And then, there we go. And then just literally, I'm just going to wrap this. And make sure this is flat. Like this needs to be flat. So I'm going to try to explain this a little easier for you. So you're going to take your latch hook and needle and you're going to make sure the latch is open and you're going to slide it through your hair, the base of where the braid is. Then you're going to take your faux lock where the loop in the faux lock is, you're going to latch it onto the hook in the uh, latch hook needle. Then you're going to slide the faux lock and the needle through your hair and take that knot and you're going to again pull your braid and your faux lock through that loop to create a knot. And you're going to just tighten the faux lock and the braid and it should be like a knot. There you go. And it should be pretty secure on your hair. Then you're going to wrap your braid around the faux lock. The center of the faux lock is hollow, it's empty. So the goal is to get that braid in the center of that faux lock so you can't see it. So basically I am just wrapping the faux lock around the braid. You don't want to do it too tight because then it'll kind of warp the faux lock and if it's too loose you see the braid through it. So make sure like the braid is flat and just wrap the faux lock around the braid. And you guys, I messed up so many faux locks just trying to get this method of wrapping the braid around it. So this is the hair. I'm not going to have this in maybe for an additional two weeks, maybe three if I don't like act crazy with it. I'll kind of like back up for you. I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm going to kind of hold my, my girls together, but you kind of see. All right, guys, so this is the finished hair. Super easy to do. Um, I suck at braiding. I'm not that great doing hair, and I was able to do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and comment for any questions until next time. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay healthy. Happy beautiful and blessed. Bye